Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is a habit? What, why do we need to break it? When should we know that we need to overcome this habit? And most importantly, I'm going to talk about one factor that usually is responsible for maintaining a habit and what can you do about it? So first of all, why do we need to break a habit? So we all have some habits. For example, we get up in the morning and we brush our teeth. So is that habit bad or good? Should we overcome it? So who decides that? So the answer is you. You are the one who decides if the habit is not working well and you need to break it. So if any habit you find is maladaptive, that habit is impairing your life, any area of your life. Maybe personally you don't like it, you're feeling disturbed about it. Uh, it is impairing any other areas of your life, your professional life, your studies, your work, your social life. Uh, so any of these things that you find and you realize that, you know, it is impacting you negatively. So we decide that we need to work on that habit. Now, what actually is a habit? Habit is just a pattern that we have developed over the period of time by doing it over and over again. So you have to break a habit. First of all, it is important to recognize that pattern. For example, uh, if you you have to, uh, you get up in the morning and you go to a specific room and do your uh, yoga. So um, that room is a place where you always do yoga. So that atmosphere, you get a trigger that this place is my yoga room or meditation room. So every time you go there, you have a, uh, you, it's automatically in your mind that you do it. Uh, similarly, there are some triggers in the environment, some stimulus in the environment, which make you, uh, give, which give you a clue that you need to do that. So we have some triggers in the environment. We have some triggers uh, like uh, the time of the day that in the lunchtime you, uh, I mean, in the daytime you eat your lunch. So similarly, when the night is there, you do some specific activity. When the morning is there, you do so. So there are some patterns that we develop. And over the period of time, the more we do them, the more deeply they get ingrained. So now to break any habit, you have to recognize those patterns specifically that when is it that more I am more likely to do it, which part of the day I'm more likely to do it, what is there in the environment. For example, I see my phone and I have a tendency to go and chat. So phone is very major. If I don't have the phone, I am okay. So what is any uh, stimulus in the environment that that makes me do it all the time. So you need to keep away from that. So recognizing your own pattern that will be very individual to you is a very good step towards it. Now next and most important is most of the people even if they want to break a habit they are unable to do it because they don't know what else to do in its place. So suppose you decide I don't want to do it but what will you do? How will you fill the void? They have nothing else to do. It's uh, it's unfortunate that we have a lot of time and most of the people uh, don't know how to make the best use of that time. So uh, the things that we get caught into, which is usually unhealthy habits, are very interesting and uh, later on they become harmful. But we don't know what to do in that place. Most of the people don't know how to, you know, what are their hobbies or passions or what else they can do. So that is a very maintaining factor of that habit. It is very easy to overcome a habit if you know, you know, what else can you do about it. And unfortunately, the more of the time we have, it becomes a curse rather than a blessing. So what can you do? You will have to find that out. Um, if what you used to do when you are not in that habit, how you constructively you can utilize that time. Most importantly, that activity should interest you. That activity should hold your interest so that you're engrossed in it. You are so busy in that that you have no other time to think about anything. So you won't be having to spend your energy to force yourself to not do something. You would not require the need. You would not have the need to, for anything else. And you will be completely you know, busy with that new activity that you have developed. So I hope these three things really help you to overcome habit. If you have some innovative and creative ways in which you have overcome any old pattern or habit, please do tell about it in the comment section. Take care. Bye-bye.